second row outside, coming from eighth in his heat race to finish fourth, gave Marcus Thomas enough points to start that beautiful number 22 in second row outside. Third row inside is the 01J of Jad Sessoms, along with Justin Bates in the 21B. Fourth row inside, North Richland Hills, Chad Wilson in the 20 car. Outside of him, it is the Ambassador Claude Estes III in the 74E. Fifth row inside, Chase Brewer in the 25. And our points leader, B99 of Blake Mallory in the cabinets by Tommy Carr. Sixth row inside, our 2020 series champion, that is Michael Day in the 91. Along with 13-year-old Blaine Baxter in the 25X. Seventh row inside, it is Jetman Jet Hayes in the 83 car. Along with 19-year-old Austin Saunders in the 82 car. DJ Estes, he'll be starting the 74 car inside eighth row inside. Along with Colby Estes, our 2018 series champion in the 71. Ninth row inside is George Group in the 86. Along with the 4X of Heath Nestrick. Slated to go in the 10th row is young Christian Kennison in the 82C car and Johnny the Rocket Ricketts in the 99B. So we're going to be going 25 laps tonight. $2,000 goes to the winner and $300 all the way down to last place. We have great payback in our series. It actually doesn't get to $300 till you get to 15. Tonight, we also have a special award to be watching out for. If you can take the lead on lap 25 for the, for the win, if you can pass the leader on the final lap, you are gonna pick up a cool bonus that is cool with the letter K from Cool Trikes out of Clarksville, Texas. They're the nation's leading builder of Harley trikes. They take really cool Harleys and turn them into uh, amazing cool trikes. If you go to cooltrikes.com, you can check them all out. We really appreciate them putting up that bonus. As a matter of fact, that bonus was picked off at our July 4th race at Lone Star Speedway. There was a three-way battle coming down for the lead on the final lap with Chase Randall leading. He detonated a tire in the middle of the front straightaway, and Cody Adams slid by for the win as he detonated a tire right at the start-finish line. Truly a wild race if you happen to be there. Mentioning Chase Randall, he is racing midgets tonight at Eldora Speedway. He won the last time we were here in KSC. like every car is fired off so we're going to clear off all the four wheelers and then we're going to go right into our little mini hot lap session and you'll also see we're having all the guys pack that high side because that's where they want to race at They've been saving that top side all night long just for this race. So again, once once again, Bo and the gang did a beautiful job on track prep tonight. There's some moisture down on the bottom, a little slick across the middle, and lots of, lots of tacky dirt up on top, so there's going to be some more passing and slide jobs. I'm going to guess about lap six. About lap six tonight, the leaders will catch lap traffic, so you'll want to keep your eye out on that. That's when it's really going to get crazy out there. Alright, we're telling the guys to get spread out. 
getting really close to having our little mini hot lap here. Checking out corner three there. Alright, looks like they got that situation all resolved. So any moment we're going to be getting the green light to go for about three quarters of a lap, a hot lap. Now 
St. Lawrence get to the bottom. This next time by, you want to be on your feet. You want to be waving your hands, taking pictures with your phone. Get them up on your Facebook page. Because this is all about you, race fans, taking the time and your money, your hard-earned money to come here. Great fans, it is the Bandits Outlaw Sprint Series on parade here at Clear Bus Weekly Park. Beautiful sight to behold, and I'll be watching the inside and outside rows. And here we take off. And the back five rows are already back in alignment. So we're going to be going green flag racing next time by. Bandits lineup I've ever seen in the six years of the history of this division and I'm telling you what I don't know what to tell you but I can tell you one thing in about six laps the lead cars are going to be hit lap traffic and then it is going to go crazy so watch the front row with one eye watch that white stripe with the editor because here we go race fans <laughs>
super exciting race here tonight at Kennedale. Great battle for the lead throughout the race. Nice safe race. Nobody upside down once again here at Kennedale. We have to go back to March when we had a car get upside down here. Right now, unofficially, your winner would be Marcus Thomas with St. Lawrence in second and Chase Brewer in third. And fourth place would be going to Jeff Sessom. But we got to do a post-race inspection. And if you see that 22 car make a left-hand turn after it gets off the scale, you know that he cleared check. This will just take a moment to see how this all shakes out. What a great job by these drivers. Hey, Ray fans, let's hear it from these fans and how Osprey is driving. Very nice, racing, racing, racing. And here you go, Ray fans. This is your official winner. Marcus is getting pushed around when he gets out. We'll do a big send off for him.